What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So this episode is gonna be on the Camry and guess what we're doing? We're finally bagging the Camry. You guys have been waiting for this video, so stay tuned. Let's go. Started putting together the management wires, the harness basically, and now we're gonna run the harness through there. We're gonna fish it through there, and we're gonna follow my previous amp line along the whole thing back to the front and the battery and the fuses. And uh, yeah, let's get to that. So we ran it this way. In between the seats, you can reach in here. You gotta take this panel off. You can reach in here, take out the cable, and run it all the way to up here. I like it like this. Cisco likes it like that. It's cleaner. Follows the same factory harness, so it looks clean. And uh, basically, like we said, manifold management is gonna be on top. These wires are gonna be under. We're gonna do a floor later on. Plan is to make the holes here for the for the lines to go through, and we're gonna label them. Um, we're gonna do like a floor here. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do something here. Tank is gonna sit here. We're finishing up the holes for the trunk setup. It's gonna come together. Can't wait. Should be done by today so we ran a little issue um on this side the garment is very hard to get into the with the camrys so my previous guy that did audio actually made a hole on the firewall which we're not gonna do another hole now for the system so instead we're gonna run it with the passenger side same way as the other side following the factory harness in through this side it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out this way right here. Right here. We're gonna reach the fuse box and the battery. We got suspension. So make sure you use Teflon tape for each fitting that goes into the compressors. What Cisco said is every fitting that has thread and that air goes through put uh, Teflon tape so air doesn't lead through there. So we're going to do that. We're going to put them on each thing, tighten it up, and we'll move on to the next thing. You got to make sure the top hat is aligned with the strut tower. So you're going to adjust it. You gotta adjust it from the top, right? Afterwards, you gotta adjust this, right? Yeah. Either back or front forward. We also added the leader hoses onto the bags. Make sure it's aligned properly. If not, once you mount the top hat, you bolt everything up on the strut. So basically, now we're running the wiring through the garment into the engine. Go. Front bags are on. Pull the yellow. When you do that, make sure you separate the remote control uh, cable 
so it doesn't go in through there. Hit them up. So we're gonna take a little break, but we're gonna ride on this bad boy. A little pizza run. Should be fun. side to shoot down into the wheel well, that's gonna be the exhaust all right so now it's set up you just gonna run the exhaust with here down into there at the floor all the lines are ready for the airbags this is the intake for the, uh, for the air tank and that's set Put down back here is going around he's actually putting the airlines to go he's running the airline to the bottom uh, we ran the wiring this way and then cover it this it's gonna put it to the battery connect to the fuse so it's coming along pretty good uh, his brother took out the rear he's working on a Putting the new ones on and then the spring will take it off also. Um, yeah, so it's coming along pretty good. It's almost there. These are already set. Just waiting for airlines. Yep. All right. For the air tank, um, I'm running actually two water traps on both sides. And then the, all the extra fittings that you need. Um, the compressors, like I said, we're going to put them on the sides, so you have to buy longer ones. I left the other one at home, so I have to do it on my own when I get home, which is not a big deal. So meanwhile, this one's going to sit in the bottom. And um, yeah, they're going to wire that up once it gets to the back. We're another one in the airlines. And we're missing the, the rear bags. But uh, pretty much... Uh, See Cisco already put the the fitting, and um, yeah, those are my oh original struts with my Ebok uh, springs, long springs. We have to figure out how what we're gonna do with the sub. Pretty much is, is finishing up. So Cisco just made the holes. Uh, one is gonna be front driver. Two is gonna be passenger front. Three is driver rear, and four is uh, passenger rear. And then the E is for exhaust. So he's gonna pass the lines through there. He's actually passing it right now. So very clean setup. Um, the line's gonna go to here and eventually come to the floor to the setup that we have set up.
So you need one of those wrenches that has a little elbow on Arbor it. Arbor Freight, Lowe's, Home Depot, Auto Home. Everybody carries them. And then you need that to put on the new one? Yeah. So you gotta transfer this over to here. So that's like the mount? Yeah, that goes up there. On top, right? That's what you took off of the first. Yeah. So that piece comes off right there. So you gotta take off of the original one and put it on the new one. And it goes up here. That doesn't fit on the new one, right? No. There's a little. Uh, yeah, makes sense. And it has like a top inside. So you gotta take that off because in the, the other side it has a little foamish thing. It's actually harder than foam. So you need to take it off completely. So basically, you need to take off this and this part too you don't need to put on the new one because it does not it will not sit properly you will have to grind one of the bolts down you see because it's too long so we're getting the grinder for that original one goes on a new one Side. Wait, where's the, which one's the bolt that needs to be cut? The one that holds this down. The one that holds this in place. So what holds that in place? So the bolt. This goes where the spring is, right? Okay, so it goes here. Uh -huh. And then at the bottom, it takes a metal plate. I'll show you. So at the bottom, it takes this metal plate. Ah, I see. It goes out the bottom, like that, and then you tighten the bolt, but the bolt is too long, so you gotta cut it. Uh, original one doesn't have that, right? No. Factory one doesn't have that. Ah, uh, that's right. So, it goes like that. This holds it in place. Beautiful. So everything is on. We're just he's finished wiring. He already finished the wiring. Suspension is on all around. Pretty much, it should be done today. It's really good. He did it in basically in a couple hours. Um, usually, the other guy takes three days, so I'm really happy it gets done. It gets done in one day. But uh, we still need to put the airline through this. We should be good and ready to go. All right, guys. Last night we finished a little late. I wasn't able to do a little walk around. We had to pick up all that stuff sorry again if it's windy um but we finished it cisco and frank they were able to knock out that air suspension on the car i 100 percent guarantee them if you're in south florida hit them up for anything mechanical because they are very clean very uh picky with their work um and yeah so let me introduce you to the camry Back Camry of VAPD Customs. Oh, 
people here it is sorry for the car is dirty we literally just finished last night i haven't even washed it i came to work look at that it's all dirty but cisco and frank did an awesome job they adjusted the right height for me i could go lower i had to lower the profile wheels and remove the i think it's called a sway bar support link but i'm happy like this i'm still thinking about wheels i don't know might just powder coat these trying to figure it out what i'm gonna do um the trunk hasn't been finished but you can see more or less how it's gonna look uh the other compressor is here i bought the extra cable but i didn't take it with it with me to install it so i gotta do that later on but the other compressor is gonna sit there right now it's right here um all the wiring is down there um yeah the kit it's 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 all right kit it's an all right kit um right here um i had to extend a little more for it to sit properly down here um but yeah uh it looks great um tank looks good still need to put a false wall my amp back there um but yeah overall i'm happy um finally the camry is bagged been waiting for this for a while but um yeah uh next video should be well we have another special video coming for the camry but for an upcoming video we should be finishing up the trunk setup um it's gonna be a little different so can't wait for that um we still have to cut that the wires uh the compressor wires are gonna go through the back a lot of stuff to, still need to be done but but we can finally say the Camry's bagged and we got it done. Um, Cisco and Frank got it done in one day, which is crazy. Um, a couple other guys told me that it was two or three days, but Frank, Frank and Cisco, one full day. Um, I'll leave the description down below. I'll tag on their IGs also. And on, if you follow us on IG, um, I'll be posting up the car with their profiles linked to it. So you can follow them um but yeah guys this is long it's been a long road and we're still not done we're still not done um i have a lot of other stuff in store for the car uh i changed my mind on a couple things but we'll see we'll see what we could do and like always i want to thank you guys for all the support stay tuned for that trunk setup we got starlights coming in we have a carbon fiber steering wheel from another company uh we're gonna do wrap oh no we have a lot of stuff still for the car uh we're also gonna start finishing it up well actually start the van build again uh i was trying to get this out of the way it's been a long process sorry about last week i didn't upload a video we were too busy gathering everything didn't have enough time also taking care of our clients so it's a lot going on i apologize thank you guys for being loyal and uh, follow our Insta uh, Instagram. We're gonna be doing a giveaway really soon. Uh, so thank you to our supporters. And uh, once again, guys, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching our videos. Until the next one.